So good morning. Welcome, everyone. We're so happy to have everyone here joining us today. And to begin our day, I would like to introduce to you our um, CEO of Women's College Hospital, Marilyn Emery, who will say a few words. Welcome, Marilyn. Hi, everyone. Good morning. And thank you all so much for being here. It is so great for me to be here today with all of you, with students, with members of our community, with community researchers who have come together with a single purpose, improving the health of women and girls. When we first launched Women's Exchange a year ago, our aim was to enact real change by advancing health research for women so that we can improve the health and well-being of all women everywhere. And this gender-sensitive approach to research is important because we know women have unique needs and unique challenges. Research shows women are more likely than men to suffer from osteoarthritis, to die from a heart attack, and to experience anxiety or depression. A recent comprehensive study of women's health in Ontario found that while women outlive men, we are at higher risk for disability and chronic conditions, and especially low-income women. We know that income, ethnicity, and social factors play a huge role in shaping health outcomes. And so with Women's Exchange, we set ourselves the objective of looking at these issues beyond the healthcare setting. Our goal is to work with diverse grassroots and community groups to study where the biggest gaps are in the health of women and to find solutions for these challenges. Through this initiative, we've been so thrilled to connect with local organizations and individuals from right across the province who will share and apply what we learn to real programs that will benefit women <clears throat> and girls across Ontario and beyond. And I'm so happy to say that we're not alone in this wish mission. Women's health is a priority for our government too, so much so that Women's Exchange is one of three designated and specialized research centers under the Ministry of Health and Long-Term Care's <clears throat> Health System <clears throat> excuse me, Research Fund. So today, we will see some of the excellent progress we've made as we meet some of the extraordinary winners of our 15,000 challenge. This is such an exciting initiative and one that I'm personally very proud to be involved with. The challenge launched last year is based on the belief that if we form links between grassroots organizations and academics, we can develop research projects that will significantly improve the quality of life of women in a wide range of communities. It really is all about linking hands, partnering, and for us in the institutional sector, learning you <clears throat> so much from all of you in the community. I would now like to ask Paul, Dr. Paula Rochon, Vice President of Research at Women's College Hospital and Lead of Women's Exchange to share more details about our program this morning. Thank you once again, all of you, for being here. Thank you so much, Marilyn. Now, isn't it nice to be here with a room that's filled with people who all have a common interest in women's health. I think that's really special, so great to be here. Now we have quite a cross-section of people who are here with us in the audience today. So how many here are students? Quite a few. And how many of you are involved with community organizations? Okay, quite a few more hands here. And people that consider themselves who are academics? Okay, so a good mix of people. And I believe we also have people who are here from various places across the province, outside of um, you know, the Toronto area. So there's people here from Ottawa, people here from Windsor, Thunder Bay. Can you raise your hands as well, people from who, who are from abroad? OK, 
Okay, very good. <laughs> you have to raise your hands higher, right? Good for you. Um, so I would like everyone just to take a minute and just introduce yourself to the person next to you, if you could, because I think one of the things we want to do today is meet people here. So great. So I see we're going to have some good conversations today. Uh, and I want to remind you that throughout the day to make sure you introduce yourself to other people and take advantage of the opportunity to make the connections. Now, um, throughout the day, we're also going to be sharing the experiences that are happening today through social media. And there is the hashtag that we're going to be using. So you're welcome to use that and join us in the conversation uh, that way as well. Uh, if you need assistance at any point here during the day, please direct your questions to one of the volunteers wearing a white t-shirt. And do we have those people there can sort of wave their hands? They're at the door. So look for someone with their white t-shirts. I think they're busy outside, so you'll find them there. And you can also look or speak to anyone here on the Women's Exchange team. So Pooja Patel is here. Pooja? Uh, she's at the back. She's waving. Okay. Uh, and they have the white t-shirts on back there as well. And we have uh, Stephanie Lagoski, who's our project, there you go, our project lead. And we also have Robin Mason here at the front, and she's our scientific lead. So these are important people for you to get to know as well. So in terms of the Women's Exchange, Women's Exchange is growing Ontario's capacity to advance research to improve women's health. And it's doing this by facilitating the transfer of existing knowledge to the people who can really benefit from it. Uh, we think that's pretty important. And it's well it's doing this by supporting research on locally important women's health issues. And I think you're going to really see that when you see the videos and you hear some of the panel discussion in terms of what's actually uh, going on. 